You know, Neville Chamberlain was the prime minister in Great Britain in the run-up to World War II, and his policy was appeasement. Avoid the conflict, mm. try not to be offended, mm. and while they watched Germany march across Europe one step at a time, until finally it, was, it became so apparent that appeasement wouldn't work, and they needed Churchill. And I love his quote. He said, I may not be the lion, but it's been left to me to give the lion's roar. Mm. And we are clearly not the lion. We represent the lion of the tribe of Judah. Mm. But we are the church in the earth. Mm. And Jesus, you know, I hear it said that Jesus was all about love, that he was only kind. And mm -hmm. we're offended by people that say things that are harsh. Mm -hmm. And I, I said, have you really read the Gospels? Right. You know, Jesus would stand in front of a group of people and he would say, your leaders don't do what your leaders say. Mm -hmm. You know, because they're, they're hypocrites. Mm -hmm. They're blind guides. Don't follow them. Leave them. Mm -hmm. And the disciples would come to him privately and say, did you know you offended them? <laughs> that always makes me smile. The disciples trying to coach Jesus up right, on his right. public presentation. Well, they said, they're going to kill you. Exactly. Yeah. And they did, ultimately. Mm -hmm. And so, it, again, we don't have to be obnoxious. And we're not going to respond from anger or belligerence. But we have a right in the public square to take our viewpoint. And it's not a lack of tolerance to take that forward. That, for instance, they've told us for decades now that our faith was not welcome in the public boardroom mm. or in the halls of a hospital, mm. that it wasn't appropriate to do that. And I'm, I'm ashamed, to be honest, that for decades we were quiet. Mm. Why did we not have the yes. courage and the boldness to say, you don't have to agree with me, but right. I'm a Jesus person. Yes. And I'm going to put a Bible on my desk. Yes. And if that offends you, look away.